All right, what's up guys? Daniel here, and today we're going to be installing carpet on my bass boat bunk boards. And as you can see, I don't have any carpet on mine, but if you already have carpet and you're just replacing it, it's gonna be the exact same process. All you have to do is tear off your old carpet before you start working on your new, uh, the, the new bunk board carpet that you're gonna install. And uh, I've got four bunk boards, as you can see, and all of them have this basically a white stain from you know the bottom of my boat and uh, it's just not great for the the finish of my boat so that's why I'm gonna be installing carpet today and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you need how to do it and it should be a very simple process what you need material wise um, I'm gonna be using this as my work surface I don't know if any of you guys know what uh, that is but that's gonna be the next video might be installed today pretty excited about that but uh, as you can see materials for the bunk board carpet we got adhesive so a lot of people do and don't use adhesive uh, for a bunch of different reasons and my personal opinion on it is it helps and it's 10 extra dollars so you might as well use it um, the main thing that's going to be holding your carpet on is going to be the stainless steel staples but a little bit of adhesive to help press that carpet down and keep it attached, I think um, definitely won't hurt things. And so I got this off Amazon, I'm pretty sure it was like 10 bucks or something, and uh, should be good to go on that. And I'll show you exactly what that is when we start using it. And then as you can see, the carpet also got all of this off Amazon, Smith trailer bunk board carpet. and. Um, 11 inches wide 12 feet long so I got three rolls of it I did the math and that's how much I'm gonna need for my four bunks and then finally the only other thing material wise you're gonna need is stainless steel staples so you can use a variety of stainless steel staples um, obviously you want stainless steel so they don't rust out immediately once you install them in your trailer and start dunking it in the water but when it comes down to the length that you need and whatever I personally just got what fits the air compressor gun, stapling gun that I'm going to be using. And uh, these these were the, the deal for me. But if you have a slightly different size staple that you want to use with your gun, it should be fine. Main thing is stainless steel because you don't want them rusting out. So when you're starting out, the process is very simple get your boat off the trailer so you can work on it and then for me I'm going to be removing all these bunk boards and so I can lay them down on the ground and work on them very easy I've seen some people try to install the carpet with the bunk boards still attached to the trailer but when I show you all the bunk boards for almost every boat are attached by little brackets right there and so you can either take off this bolt or this nut right here and then you're gonna be good to go and just work around this bracket or you can take this entire bracket off and just have a, a plain board and uh, very simple and it's you know it's gonna take you 15 minutes to take them off and it's gonna make it a lot easier instead of having to, to work around all your other parts on your trailer so I'll go ahead and do that now and remove those and we'll meet you back on the other side All right, so the camera's already like that and I didn't feel like readjusting, so I'm bending over, but all right, got the boards taken apart. I slightly wiped them down just to clean them a little bit. They're still pretty dirty, but I'm not too worried about it. I still think the adhesive is gonna stick to it fine. Um, what's next is now we gotta lay out those boards and we gotta lay out the carpet and cut the carpet so it's gonna fit around those boards really nicely. Um, I got 11 inch wide carpet, which is gonna fit well because um, my boards are you know, two by sixes, or roughly two by six. And uh, so I should be able to wrap it and not have to cut it too much, but you are gonna have to cut, you know, cut the carpet to length and I'll show you guys how to do that, get that all prepped out. So then when it comes time, you can just put that adhesive on the carpet 
lay the board on it, wrap it over, and then staple it all out. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how to cut the ends of the carpet for your bunk board. So I am just kind of eyeballing this. I've measured it a little bit. I know I need two and a half inches carpet on either side to have it center. And then um, I'm fooling around with the design I wanna have to have a clean end. But I will show you what that looks like right now. So when you are doing this end, here it is again. I've got those corners marked right there and right there. And I pushed this board back a little bit so I can cut right up to it. And so the first step is just to cut these parallel lines. And again, as I said before, I'm not measuring any of this. I'm not trying to make it precise. I'm just trying to eyeball it and make it as close as possible just because I don't think it's worth the time. But the first step is to make these two cuts and then I will show you the next one. The next step is to make two little cuts right here and right here. I just cut these pieces out right here and right here. And uh, now we've got these guys and we're just gonna shorten them down. So when they wrap across the front of that board, they don't overlap. So just right here and right here. All right, so we shorten them up and there they are. There's one right there and one right there. Should be good to go. Now it's time to get ready for adhesive and staples. As you can see, we got our carpet up here and the bunk board right there covered in the Henry adhesive. We just painted it on and uh, we're waiting it a little bit to let it tack up and then we're gonna flip it over and then start putting some staples in it. So a little close up as you can see you can see all the staples running down each side and then when it comes to the end it looks great those ends are clean tons of staples i put a few staples in this side and uh it's looking good i just need to do this side and then i got the last long one to do and we should be good it's about done as you can see we got three of the finished bunk boards right there we got one over there and uh the carpet looks good i mean very good i'm very happy with how these turned out the edges look very clean very crisp they don't look like somebody just stapled a bunch of crap carpet to them and uh yeah so i'm about to bolt everything back up to the trailer and then i will update you guys after i do that
Look at that, guys. Ooh, does that look good. Really clean ends. Oh yeah, it looks awesome. Carpet's a little bit dirty, I haven't vacuumed it, but I mean, it's gonna be underneath a boat, so it doesn't need to be perfect. But uh, very, very happy with how it turned out. As you guys can see, it looks extremely clean. Get another shot of that for you. Oh yeah. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, this uh, definitely is a easier project, I would say. Um, you don't need that many tools. You just need maybe five hours, maybe less if you know what you're doing. And uh, you need a air compressor, a stapling gun, and probably just a standard ratchet, ratchet set and a pair of scissors to be able to cut the carpet. I mean, you really don't need that many tools. And uh, it's definitely an easy process. So if you're just getting into starting to work on your boat, or you know, you're interested in it and you haven't done it before and you're kind of nervous you're gonna mess something up, I would definitely say go ahead, give it a try. It's a super easy process and um, you can probably Google or YouTube any other questions you have related to the adhesive and all those other components. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.